हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज मैथ्स वर्कशीट सेवेंटीन एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट चैप्टर फोर बेसिक ज्योमेट्रिकल आइडियाज सम ज्योमेट्रिक टर्म्स फर्स्ट पॉइंट अ पॉइंट इज एन एग्जैक्ट लोकेशन इन स्पेस और अ फ्लैट सरफेस सेकेंड लाइन अ लाइन इज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ पॉइंट दैट कंटिन्यूज फॉर एवर इन द बोर्ड डायरेक्शन लाइन सेगमेंट अ लाइन सेगमेंट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ अ लाइन विथ टू एंड पॉइंट रे अ रे स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट एंड एक्सटेंड इन वन डायरेक्शन फॉर एवर एंगल एन एंगल इज फॉर्म वैन टू रेज शेयर एन एंड पॉइंट इंटरसेक्टिंग लाइन्स इंटरसेक्टिंग लाइन्स आर लाइन्स दैट पास थ्रू द सेम पॉइंट पर पेंडिकुलर लाइन्स पर पेंडिकुलर लाइन्स आर लाइन्स दैट इंटरसेक्ट एट राइट एंगल्स पैरल लाइन्स पैरल लाइन्स आर लाइन्स दैट नेवर इंटरसेक्ट फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस अबाउट intersecting lines intersecting lines when two or more lines cross each other in a plane they are called intersecting lines the intersecting lines share a common point which exists on all the intersecting lines and is called the point of intersection in this figure p and q are two lines cross each other at the point o and this o point is known as point of intersection here lines p and q intersect at point o which is the point of intersection parallel lines in geometry parallel lines can be defined as two lines in the same plane that are at equal distance from each other and never meet like a first line p and q and r and s the line p q and r s parallel to each other example of parallel lines like a railway track in geometry parallel lines are lines in a plane which do not meet that is two lines in a plane that do not intersect or touch each other at any point are said to be parallel like a railway track line segment a part of a line is called a line segment first we take a two points a and b after that we join these both points so these both point make a line segment and the name of this line segment is ab or ba and this bar is a symbol of line segment a line segment has a fixed length that can be measured the points at which the line segment begins and ends are called its end points every line segment has two end points so in above figure a and b are two end points of this line segment example length of a pencil edge of a book and length of a chocolate bar etc difference between line and line segment line extend both sides and line segment having two end points line segment notation write as ab bar ray a ray is a straight path that has one end point and goes on and on in one direction 
the following figure shows ray ray cd or dc this arrow denote a ray example rays from the sun rays of light from a torch etc another example of ray the sunlight come from the sun plane a plane is a flat surface that extends infinitely in all directions it has no thickness the following figure shows a plane a plane can be named by using any three points on it we take a three points on it a b and c the given figure shows plane abc the order of the points does not matter some representation of a plane surface from your everyday life first surface of a paper surface of a table a wall of your room etc polygons a close figure such as the one shown at the right is a special kind of a plane figure called a polygon it is made up of more than two line segments the line segments that from a polygon are called the sides of the polygon the intersection of two sides is called a vertex of the polygon the following figure shows vertex and sides where the two line segments meet with each other this point is known as vertex of the polygon these all mark point are known as vertex sides these lines are sides of the polygon naming of polygon the name of a polygon depends on the number of sides it has some examples of polygon are given below triangle three sides this figure show if the polygon having a three sides 1 2 and 3 so these type of polygon are known as triangle quadrilateral four sides means these type of figure which having a four side 1 2 3 4 so these type of polygon are known as quadrilateral pentagon five sides means these type of figure having a five sides 1 2 3 4 5 these type of figure are known as pentagon hexagon six sides means if the figure having a six sides 1 2 3 4 5 6 so these type of figure or polygons are known as hexagon in this exercise i give some questions related to above discussion so you will do all these questions in your homework thank you